Welcome back, it's back, back to the basics. I'm Sean Barr and today we are talking about wireless RF tuning. Do, 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 do. Moving some knobs, let's go. All right, we're back and we are talking wireless RF tuning. So essentially, if you have a wireless environment, we're talking 80211 wireless and you are having performance issues or maybe you have intermittent drops or people say that their coverage isn't great in a particular area, you're gonna need to do some RF tuning or some just wireless tuning. There's many ways to do it, but the most effective way is to use basically an RF scanner. And essentially what it does is you're gonna have a laptop and you're gonna walk around the environment and take measurements and readings uh, from different places in the office or in the environment to see how strong the wireless signal is and also if there's any interference in the area. After you do that, you're gonna get a really good idea or a picture of the RF space and how clean it is and how strong your signal strength is. And from there you can determine, do I need to add an additional AP? Maybe I've got some channel overlap. And we talked about that in another video, but if you're running 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz ranges, they're gonna have different channel capabilities. And so maybe you've got some channel overlap. Maybe you need a different antenna. Maybe you need to tune the gain or the, the signal strength on the AP so that it's not uh, reaching into another, another AP's area and with an overlapping channel, things of that nature. So if you walk the floor and you get your RF readings and everything looks good, then you may need to go look at the client because a lot of times with wireless, you may have intermittent experiences with different clients. So you may have four or five users in your environment that, that complain about wireless performance. A lot of times that could be actually the laptop or the end user workstation having the problem and not necessarily an issue with the wireless environment. So as an example, maybe an older laptop is gonna be running at 2.4 gigahertz instead of five gigahertz, and the majority of your users are running at five gigahertz. Uh, so they have no performance issues because they've got more non-overlapping channels. But your users with a 2.4 gigahertz, older laptops essentially are running in that uh, overlapping channel space. There's a lot more noise in it, microwaves, you know, maybe you've got some, some microphones in the area like uh, lapel mics, those kind of things in an adjacent room that's stepping on that, that frequency. So it's causing problems for that user. Get your survey back and if the survey looks good, a lot of times it could be related to the end host or the host, uh, host machine. And so that could be you're running five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz and the client machine is, is an older machine and it's running at 2.4, but the majority of workstations are running at five gigahertz and they have no problems. So in those cases where you get, ah, oh, we only get a few complaints and it's from these key users and it's always them, then you may wanna go look at their machines or their drivers to check it out to make sure that their actual machine is working as it should. So that's about it. We talked about doing a wireless survey, walking around, taking measurements, reading signal noise and reading signal strength. We talked a little bit about checking the end user workstations because if you only have a handful of users having problems, it could be that related to them, not necessarily the wireless network. And that's about it. If you have any questions or I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Back to the Basics. Thanks.